And so we were all there and we were like lined up taking 80% shots and they all missed. <laughs> and then the rookie threw a grenade and it did 5 damage anyway. <laughs> Welcome back to XCOM. Brutal. Co-op. Me and Sephid's. It's Captain Mathemo's turn. I, uh, I'm just going to get straight into it again. Spin the globe. Since last time, uh, Sephi didn't do it at the end. As far as I'm aware, we're waiting for alien weaponry. And then we're going to uh, get some scopes. Um, and then everything's going to be great. That's basically it. Lieutenant Q-Tip Murphy's plane has returned to service. He's going to carry us through. Commander. So, moderate abduction here, Canada, Toronto, I guess, no, Ottawa, yeah, maybe Toronto, let's go straight in. Now, I think Sefi took quite a few of our uh, good aim soldiers last time, but it looks like a bunch of them have uh, come back, so that's quite good. Van Dorn, oh yes. Let's see what type of mission it was first to roadway. So I certainly want to take a sniper. Do we have a sniper available? Mm, no, not yet. I could fatigue um, Sefid, which is a good, um, I think, a good good option. It's nice to have a sniper on these missions. Um, you want to take one because the roadway maps were always quite long. And normally, you, if you have squad side snipers, then you can have someone at the back taking shots. Yeah, it's quite important. Um, so we will take um, Sefid. Yeah, let's do it. Um, if I have a scout, I'd like to do that as well. Stumpy, again, maybe I could take... Uh, if we could take a scout and have marksman scope on it. Um, although we don't have scopes yet, so it doesn't matter. We'll take Van Dorn. Maybe give him an LMG. Since it's a moderate, there's going to be a little bit of alien contact. A couple of pods. It's not going to be quite as easy as a, um, as a light. Maybe I'll take one rookie with me. Just get some more trained up. I could take myself as an assault. What other options do we have here? Weapons. He was quite good aim. Um, I think we already had an engineer. Yeah, we do there. So let's see. We could have another rocketeer, although I think we've already got one of those as well available. And here, how much aim did you have? Are you a really good aim? Uh, so maybe we'll make you infant infantry. Let's do that. I'd like to take an infantry with me. I made a sits at the back, of course. Um, we want an engineer with um, some grenades. Great. We would also like myself. So sniper. Weapons, infantry, engineer, assault. Um, if we have a medic, we could take a medic. There's a good chance we'll come across a bunch of thin men. It's nice to have a medic for that. The Cephid was potentially proving, but he only had one in the last mission. Um, what do I want? Maybe I'll take a rocket here. Maybe I won't. Cooper Brown, no. Um, he was the guy that last time I took, and he was uh, doing fairly well, but I wish he'd turned into something other than a weapon specialist. We could random and maybe uh, roll something nicer. I'm a bit dubious about rolling random, so. But since we got two, three weapons. Well, Van Don is going to be a rocketeer, so... Yeah, maybe we just roll around him here. 
Let's go with Cooper and we'll roll and see what we get. Don't disappoint me. Eh, could be worse. Okay, we'll take you as an engineer. Um, Rasmus leave had worse aim, so let's give it to you for now. And then uh, we'll take a medic. Let's make you into a medic. Decide against taking a rookie now. That's just the way it's turned out. So, give some my kids to the medic. I often like to give um, someone else on the squad a make it as well. Because there's many, many times where I've run into a situation where the uh, medics got injured and just bleeding out, and then I've got no med kits to save her. But I think in this case, maybe I'll just risk it. We'll take a, um, a smoke and a. She's got okay health, seven. So let's take um, the laser sight. Van Dorn. I think whenever I've taken Van Dorn in the past, whenever I get Van Dorn, I nearly always went gunner with him. But this time, he's going as a rocketeer. For the Lance Corporal perks, Heat, am heat Warheads is, uh, I think, the, the choice you have to make. Um, I don't really enjoy Ranger. And will to survive? It can be useful, but Heat Warheads. That's what I'm going for. Seven health and Van Dorn as well. For Sephid, I don't want a smoke or an AP grenade on you, I'm afraid. We're gonna go with um, a laser sight as well. And then probably a battle scanner. Our engineer now needs some grenades. We'll take um, what we did on the other guy. Everyone's got quite nice health already. Um, six on you. Spec brown. How much do I have? Seven. Yeah, I think it's a good amount of health. Everyone. Oh, shit. Who did I just have? Hamada sits at the back. Come back. Um, I don't want you to have attack vest on the fridge. We're going to have attack armor. Smoke grenade laser sight. That's good. Everyone's got the correct weapons, a med kit, some grenades, flashbang, rocket here. Um, I could take another rocket, but I think I'm happy with one for the moment. We're not going to have a huge amount of contact. Flashbang on the end, on the rocket here as well, maybe. Um, we have one, two smokes. Yeah, let's go with this. Setting down. The drop site for this operation, operation First camp. Shield. So this is the same map that. Uh, is it the same, same map that Sephi just did? Yeah, it is. <coughs> it's the Van Dorm map, so unfortunately we're seeing this one again. But, uh, you know. Whatever. There we go. Alright. So we're going to have... Um, <coughs> because this isn't the uh, Van Dorn map, we are going to have some Mel canisters on the map, hopefully. We're starting from the other side as well. And this is... Um, the other side of the map. I don't see immediately any mail. But like my other mission, I've probably missed it and it's right at the start next to my troops. Are we on the other side? Or is this a completely different map? Am I just confused? Um Oh no, we are starting on the, the same side. Never mind. Completely disregard whatever I said for the last minute. Um so we have Hameda, my infantry, medic. Oh, sniper is here somewhere. JT, 
let's um, start with the infantry. I'm on it, Commander. Now, what I'd like to do, same as Sefi, is get some nice positions uh, up to this cover, um, take some steady shots, etc., and then start to move slowly up, getting down to this uh, lip here. And then I wouldn't be surprised if there's contact at the bottom and on the uh, ridge there. I've got only one battle scanner. Um, I'm hoping I can take this contact that potentially would be at the bottom before um, needing to use a battle scanner and then I can save the battle scanner for uh, the ridge up top. Let's move some more people into positions. That go. Veronique. My sniper. Sefeeds. Myself. Oh, actually going on the same mission together. That's very nice. Pandorn. I'm sorry that we had to bring you back to this uh, this mission so quickly. Oh, it doesn't, he doesn't have like flashbacks. If he panics on this mission, I'm actually not going to be surprised. Um, we'll take a hunker. Overwatch. Steady weapon on the rocketeer. Hunker on myself. Steady weapon on the sniper. And an overwatch on Cooper. Let's uh, work out what contact we have. Certainly sectoids. On the move. Contact. Here we go. Pot of three sectoids. Taking cover positions there. Do we have any shots immediately? Nope. Let's um. I, I'd like myself the assaults to be in a nice position to get a running gun next turn. Um, it's a bit risky if they're so far away um, that I would activate more pods, but for now um, I'd like to start moving up. Let's have... Um, who else do I have? Van Dorn. Let's have him uh, on the left hand side here. Location confirmed. Let's do what I basically said I was going to do with myself. Get into the position here. So the sniper, because of this ridge, um, I'm not quite sure he's going to be able to have any good shots. What I'd need to do is for the aliens to move up. Um, I think for the moment this red truck is basically the line of sight blocker. Um, I could move further out to the left try to get some shots down there if the aliens move up um, or I might get some shots here so I'm just gonna move across to this half cover and there we go actually we got one a line of sight to uh, this guy at the back so steady weapon for next turn if he stays in the same place and then Cooper as well moving up ready for next turn ready with the grenades how are we looking 250% shots and a 40 Hunkering, I think, is a solid option, or even, I think, in this case, concealment. The only problem is, if I go for concealment, is that next turn I can move out, um, and then um, I'd only get one shot. Like, the infantry there light them up perk. It's basically, if you take a, um, your first action as a shot, then you can take, basically, another action. Um, if I leave her here, then she can stay still and take shots next turn, so I'm just going to hunker. And then for the medic... Um, we can move up, and I think uh, we'll go for an overwatch. I don't know if Van Don's in a good position there. I think the way that the car works, he needs to be on the other side. Um, but I'll deal with that next turn. He might be use useless this turn, unfortunately. I'm get a one overwatch shot off. Nope. Yeah. No, panic chain! What, Van Dorn? See, he, he knows this map. He's, he's fine. So the medic and the engineer panicked. Of course. What sort of shots do we have? 
Certainly we'll have one on a sniper, because that guy didn't move at the bottom there, 66%. I think I'll start with that, because he doesn't have any of the targets. That looks like it's way... Oh, wow. That was good damage. Um, so that's two... He had five hit points, so that's uh, three hit pins taken from here as well, which is nice. Uh, Van Dorn, thank you for not panicking, my friend. We got the option here of a flashbang, which would be quite useful. I'm going to take those uh, infantry shots, I think. What I would like to have done would be destroy cover. I think that box is destructible. But, unfortunately, uh, Cooper is panicked. Up to here, and take a nice f um, close range shot on that sectoid, or even get a flank on him. The only problem with taking the flank is that there's a chance I'm going to reveal more, and that would be pretty bad. Um, and then the infantry could move up and flashbang. I think it would be a solid move. Yeah, let's go for this. Run again. No reveal, which is good. And then, um, let's see. We can take the shot now, or take the flashbang um, with Van Dorn, and then, nah, let's just take the shot. Nine damage, it's quite impressive. Let's move up, see what chances to hit we actually have. Only 29%, he is in full cover. Which uh, sort of explains things. To that we move up here and uh, take an overwatch with her. And then we'll flashbang with uh, Van Dorn. gonna happen. It's exciting. Incoming over here. So, since I already got a promotion, um, maybe we can get a kill on someone else. We can take some shots first anyway, some 30% there. Even Van Dorn can have a shot. 29%. Oh, we can use a grenade there perhaps. Does the sniper have a shot? Nope. The medic could do with a heal, so maybe we'll uh, do that this turn. Let's take our 30 percent with the infantry, and then if they miss, we can uh, also move up for... Or maybe we'll do a shot on an overwatch, because I'm being so indecisive. I think it's time to use the crystal ball. Assuming it reaches, which it probably won't. No, never mind. God, I'm so used to having uh, another came out campaign I'm playing. The uh, perk that lets you throw further. What is it, Sapper? Yeah. So. Roger that. Visual on the goods. Oh, that's where's that? Oh, right in the middle. I was blind again. Have yourself another kill. It's pretty high damage again. It's very good. Getting it done. And let's move up. Medic can move and then heal herself. Good. Sorry, Vonique. I left you uh, open to some damage there. A few days in the med bay for you, but I'm sure you'll deal with it quite nicely. Do a steady on Van Dorn in case we stumble into a pod. And okay. the engineer can move up as well in Overwatch. Overwatch. Now, I wonder what pods are left. It was a moderate. So, so that's some sectoids. It'd be nice if it was just all sectoids. I don't really expect it to be that... Uh, that that'd be the case, but... This is... A bit annoying on this map. There's no real good cover to get 
down to this and even all this is only half cover on the way back if you play them off the other side there's some nice full cover here and I think on this side as well um, and then as you push up even further here but playing this way the standard way is uh, can be pretty annoying pretty dangerous <coughs> Let's uh, move my troops up here. Ten four. Gotta make a push for that meld. Fortunately, we don't have access to um, meld Savior Reader since uh, Sefi took her on the last mission. Got it, moving. But we'll have to deal with that. We'll have a bunch of overwatches here, and then I think we're going to be safe moving here. Famous last words, Hunker. What was that? No, it sounds like there's a pod down in uh, the little pit here. So what I'm going to do is put my sniper in a nice spot. Where did he go? Is he back here? What did I do with the sniper? There he is. I was looking right at him. Thought he was the engineer. We'll go behind the box. Try not to repeat too much what Sefi did in the last mission. And then we'll get the uh the battle scanner here. Sweeping. And where is the pod? Yeah, it's down here. <coughs> so this might be a good um, <coughs> time for a grenade. Three uh, sectoids right there. We can get pretty close before we have to grenade them as well. Let's have um, the engineer right I'm here. Moving. The medic right next to him. No, let's take this cover. I don't think there's a spot around here that I can take which would reveal. So I'm quite happy uh, moving them up All behind right the car. Way. I made a yeah next to the uh, engineer. I'm gonna take a reload on you and Overwatch just in case they decide to uh, come and say hello during this turn. You reload on myself. Try not to get too many more kills on myself because uh, we want to split this XP across the squad if possible. What are you going to do, guys? It does sound like there's just more sectoids on the map. I can't be sure about that, but... Let's, um... Let's grenade. Boy, stop him. Boop. I've got a visual. So, that did a good amount of damage. We can probably finish them off this turn if we play this nicely. We have a grenade on um, someone else, I'm sure. Yeah, Van Don. Let's put you in a nice spot for that. Um, who can we get? We can get these two at the front, and then we can get a potential running gun, but I think it's on cooldown. Oh no, it's a backup. Here, on him. I'm not sure we can get that one at the back. Unless we specifically grenade him. Or. Unless Sefid has a shot on him. Please hit it and make my life easy. No. I'll get him next time. So I think the front two are very nice um, candidates for a, for a grenade. We'll, do, we'll start with that and see where we get. And Don needs to um, move a little bit closer. Let's um, go with here. Precision confirmed. And then we get a nice grenade on these two guys. Two solid kills, hopefully. I'm taking a leaf out of uh, Sefid's book. He's a bit grenade crazy, if you ask me. I can't get a flank on um, this alien, but I can certainly take a bunch of shots at him, I think. I'm going to be able to smoke um, as well. I think what I'll do is move the the infantry here to the left, take a shot at this sectoid and then smoke um, and then I can move down with the assault possibly and take a shot. Again the only risk is I'm going to activate more aliens at the top but you know 
the contact is there to be activated at the moment, so 70% shot. That's a miss. Now I'd like to take this uh, s chance to smoke as well. Although maybe I'll run down with um, myself first. Roger that. Grenade, grenade, maybe. If it didn't kill, I would leave myself in a really bad spot, actually. But um, no, it doesn't look like that grenade's going to work. I could flash pan also. Um, but I think if I move down there, then I'm going to be in a nice position just to uh, take a shot, get a range bonus on it. And then next turn, hopefully, maybe I'll be able to reach the melt. We'll see about that. Run and gun. I'm on the move. It's a ballsy move. Contact. Ah, there it is. So, three more sectoids to deal with. Three more shots for Sefi to take. One more kill for me. Who can see those aliens on the top? No one at the moment. Which is good. I don't think anyone can see any aliens. Can I be seen by the aliens? I can. So, I think what needs to happen is uh, I get a smoke down here to cover myself, even though I'm half cover. If the aliens jump down, which there's a chance they will, and take cover positions here, then they might be able to see my troops, but for the moment, I'm going to cover the assault, the only one that can be seen. And we'll see what happens. This is a nice target for a rocket as well if they stay there. So the uh, remaining sectoid behind them is somewhere up here, probably sitting behind that car. I hear some more moving. Is that another pod or is it the alien himself moving? I'm not sure. Here we go. This is what the smoke was for. Oh. Right, um, Van Don, where are you? Let's take this 4.2 scatter rocket, because why not? Um, actually, maybe we'll take the sniper shot first. Uh, it's not great, actually. We might um, instead steady the sniper. But come on, Van Dorn, show me what you can do. Uh, disappointing. So, that meld is definitely grabbable, but I do have an overwatch to take care of. There's a 50-50 chance, pretty much, that I'll get this kill, which looks likely. So, overwatch is successfully dealt with. I think that means we can quite happily get the meld here and even get a flank on this sectoid right here. We have the engineer to move up as well. Um, I think if she moves to one of these spots, she's going to be able to get a flank, but unfortunately she's not going to be close enough without moving here, and those two are yellow moves. The medic will certainly get a shot, and also the engineer as well, so... We'll move up first and get the meld. Our chance to hit is 80%, which is, quite frankly, pretty good. Let's just take it. I don't like getting so many kills on one soldier, but in this case, um, I wasn't going to pass up that chance. I could take shots with everyone else first, but now I can leave these troops to sit on overwatch. Um, maybe some smoke on uh, Captain Mathmo down there would be nice as well, in case the sectoid comes back. But. I think it's uh, it's going to be just as nice to sit here and smoke us here. I think if the sector does move up, there's a chance he might be able to shoot here. I really don't remember, so I'd rather protect four people with one smoke rather than a guy sitting in full cover down there. Fair enough, the alien would have a height advantage. But ah, another pod. Can't quite see it just yet, but our friend the sector has just returned and flanked himself. 
So, what can our sniper see? 46%. We can't quite see this pot at the back. Um, well, I can see them, but apparently the sniper can't. Um, what chance do we have to hit with uh, Captain Mathwa? 62. Again, okay. Anyone on the top? No. So no shots for these guys. Um, I think it might be time to start moving some people up. Although maybe I can stay here and if this sec these uh, aliens come towards me at some point then I've still got my high ground. A grenade or a 62% shot. Hmm. I think I need to move the sniper. I don't really need to put him in cover. I can leave him back here quite happily since there's going to be no contact back here. Um, and then he's got a, a nice high position. I don't know if he'd get a high vantage from there, but he'd also get flanks on any uh, sectoids that take. If we activate this pot here at the back, then if they take cover here, then they're going to get flanks with my sniper. So let's, um, let's move up here and steady for next turn. The engineer can move because his grenades are going to be useful when that next pod turns up. And then I think um, it's really the choice of 62% shot, which, yeah, come on, it's going to miss. Or a flashbang. I think I'd like to take the flashbang now because it. The sectoid's basically, since he's in a flank position, he's pretty much just going to run around the other side of the car. Um, and then he's going to take a shot at me. I don't know if he's going to get vision from the other side of the car, though. I think... Possibly. But again, I'm not sure. He's going to move anyway, so... I'll save the grenades. I'll just take the shot. And then we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. That works. Plenty of kills in Captain Mathmo, which is good and bad. But you know. Let's uh, overwatch with Hameda and with the medic. Van Dorn, he's got no rockets left. To but we can uh, use him for overwatch. See if this pod moves towards us. No, it looks like it's pat patrolling just beyond the line of sight here at the back. So I need to activate them and then get some shots on this with the sniper. I think, um, as sort of Sefi described, breaching on this side is a lot better because you get a nice bit of heavy cover here, whereas on this side you only get half cover. I don't really want to stay up there, however. I just want to activate the pod and then have them come to me. Because if I can get them to come towards me, then I'm going to get shots on them with the sniper. And Although, if I go left here anyway, then I can still probably get shots on the sniper with the sniper. And... Um, just have my squad closer. Let's just go for that. Go. Take a reload. We move up to, to cover here with the engineer, Cooper. Can't believe he panicked. So disappointed in him. My Aussie friend. Let's do this. I think now, since I'm not going to activate next turn, or at least I don't plan to, I'll take the reload on the sniper. We're green to go. And then steady next turn. And then we'll move uh, the rest of our troops down. Basically just repeating what uh, Sefi did in the last last mission. And we'll have one overwatch, I think. You never know. Uh, so it looks like they're staying on the right-hand side, which... Oh, are they active? I think we saw the... Yeah, we did. We saw the uh, drone. Oh, wow. I like that. So now the sectoids have taken cover on the left-hand side. So which means that I think it's going to be best to quickly scoop my sniper across. Let's have him uh, here for next turn. 
so let's uh, what can we see they're gonna be sectoids here basically trapped in this area we can move up quickly and flank them because there's not really a huge amount of cover here if I remember they basically sat in this position I could even move there and then try to get a flashbang on one of them hmm Let's first move up and see where they went. Or not. Who else can move up? Van Dawn can. The infantry can't quite make it just yet. And certainly Cooper can't. They can make it to the ramp, which is okay for now. I think what I'll do is I'll um I'll get them in positions here. They're in a good cover and the sectoids are gonna be freaked. And then I can take uh any shots at them next turn. I said I don't think I blue moved uh uh yellow moved him. No, good. So yes, take there they are. Van Dawn can uh move up. Order confirmed. Take some more positions on the ramp here. Stepping off. Yes, sir. I'm hoping the aliens don't get super ballsy. It's okay. That's what armor is for. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Van Dorn. Where have you gone? Other side of this van, hopefully. Oh dear. Ah, pretty away. double moved, that's fine. I think this is going to be a pair of kills. Van Dorn, did you have a flashback, my friend? Alright, I don't want another kill on Mathmo. He's pretty much going to guarantee me a kill somewhere, but um, let's take a shot with someone else first. We'll have a try to get one on Cepheid. 31%, unfortunately, but we'll take it regardless. No, it's a miss. <coughs> so, let's have the infantry, uh, Hameda. Come on, there we go. So we'll have a flank on, um... Oh no, we won't. Who can we flank? <laughs> can we flank no one? Ah, hold on. There's a flank. I think that should be a good chance to kill. He's down. Now we have this one remaining sectoid who we can certainly kill with um with Mathmo, but I'd like to get the kill on someone else if possible. Who do we have remaining? We can move up with um with Hameda. Take a shot from here. I'm on the move. Three damage, and then perhaps Veroni can finish it off, assuming she can see from there, which I'm not 100% sure is the case. Or she can. 50-50. <coughs> now, did I just block myself? I didn't. I thought maybe there was a something here, which would have been absolutely terrible. So yeah, another kill on Captain Mathmo. Not ideal, but... Come on, what can you say? I'm amazing. Another day, another successful operation. Operation oh, First Shield in Ottawa, Canada. Complete at 5.57 a.m. Wow. Early mission. So, we have a bunch of fatigue and unfortunately some wounds, but... Um, <coughs> that's uh, okay. I don't remember when did Sefi get uh, get injured. Did, have I just completely forgotten that? Ah, it's because he was uh, 
because he was fatigued, yeah, so. And the Veronique uh, took that shot from the um, sectoid at the beginning. Um, yeah, I mean, for snipers, mm, normally I would say at least my choice uh, would be low profile. Not only opens up more full cover spots for the rest of your squad when you're using snipers, but it's uh, it's nice to have in general. It gives you a bit more options in terms of mobility around the map. The other option really would be Gunslinger. Um, snipers, of course, are better at long range, so having Gunslinger gives you a bit better chance with your pistol. And then Lone Wolf, if you're going to run a sniper which sits like away from your squad, which in some situations can be pretty risky, um, then this is quite a nice perk to have. In situations where I was just in, for example, where the sniper's perched up somewhere on a nice nice hill, then he would have benefited from this perk. Um, but I'm going to take uh, low profile. Well, yeah, let's go for low profile. I think he's our own, only sniper at the moment, actually, isn't he? So I do like uh, having snapshot snipers. I find them quite useful. For the uh, assault, so me. I'm looking like a handsome devil. We have uh, the option of Dream Flush, which can be useful. Um, I've never taken it before on a, an assault, but I've seen some people using it for uh, for assaults. I think it kind of its uses. Close Combat Specialist is one perk that I normally take on assaults. Um, basically, if you're not aware how it works, um, if an enemy comes within four tiles, even if it's not your turn, <coughs> then um, your assault will take a shot at him. I don't even think they need ammo, although I'm not sure if they fixed that with enemy within or within long wall. Certainly I remember watching someone playing a enemy unknown campaign not so long back and they ran out of ammo and the assault still took the shot. Um, so I normally take that, it's quite useful, you can leave your soldier in really dangerous situations knowing that when the enemy moves because they're flanked then you're going to get an extra shot on them. And also for um, when you start coming across chrysalids, it's quite useful when they charge you. And also for berserkers, you can get yourselves in a position where you can take a shot. And then when the berserker comes towards you, you get another shot as well. So um, steadfast, pretty much as it says on the tin. Um, you can't panic um, by sort of getting wounded or from having the rest of your squad uh, take wounds or getting killed. Um, I'm going to go with Close Combat Specialist. There we go. So we got a bunch of Sectoid corpses. Nine. How many Sectoids were on that map? I think there was a pot of three. Um, then a pot of so six, seven, eight. No, there was even more than that. I don't know. And then a drone wreck. That drone! Wow! It was killed so easily. Who got that kill anyway? It was someone sitting at the bottom. It was the engineer, I think, wasn't it? Wow, such a good good shot. That was Cooper. Illyrium. Alien alloys, weapon fragments, and some meld, of course. And $90. Touch, so, research is pretty much done for alien weaponry. Um, engineering, we're waiting for the scopes. So, we need the alien weapon for that. I noticed that Sefid started his uh, started the thermal generator. So, this is probably going to be a thermal generator block. We'll probably have something like. Um, the uh, officer school and other sort of uh, buildings you don't have the um, adjacency benefits for here. Let's just excavate that. A block of labs, maybe <coughs> a lab, um, maybe something like this. Or I don't know how we're going to work that yet, but we'll get some adjacency benefits out of this block here, and then we'll probably have some workshops and things uh, down down here. We'll see how that goes. For now, I think I've done everything there. The roster's looking okay. I think we need to start training a bit more in terms of rookies, but we got a nice initial squad going. And then for the aircraft, yeah, we need to get some more interceptors on the go. We can't afford them at the moment. It's got a cost of 200, but um, we can uh, work on that very shortly. How are we doing for panic and everything in the, the, the areas? Basically the North uh, North America is pretty good. 
Um, that's Africa and the southern parts of Asia. I'm starting to get a bit of panic. Looks like the aliens are working on those. Let's uh, spin the globe and get the alien weaponry. Here we go. We will uh, assign some new research. The maximum scope and scope are available. The maximum scope is uh, for your scouts. Basically, if you use the marksman uh, rifle, or let's see, and also the strike rifle, then it allows you to act essentially like a sniper with uh, squad sights, so you can see enemies beyond visual range, um, which can be quite nice. I often run with uh, scouts that have uh, marksman rifles. And then the scope is a um, item you can use on a bunch of your soldiers, gives you an extra 10 aim. Um, which is pretty good early on. For now, um, well, we can't go for beam lasers just yet. We need some weapon fragments, as we expected. Um, three more, so we're not so far off. We'll just have to do one more mission, and then we'll be able to start on beam lasers. And then working on xenobiology will be probably be the next uh, project after that. Let's keep spinning until we get the mission. Um, no, we want these weapon fragments, so not now, I'm afraid. Keep scanning. I expect to see a UFO at some point. Speaking of which, a low one, smaller than a scout, so let's scramble an interceptor. Um, we'll take uh, Farmer out balanced, and then I think if he does a good amount of damage, then we'll start with, uh, we'll take out Q-Tip, maybe get another kill on him. See how it goes. Engaging bogey. Okay, we're taking a bit of damage now. Let's get Q tip on the way. Where was he? We're in pursuit. If I can get this shot down, then we'll have another. Your formation to go on. Come on, get another hit, please. Contact nope. Lost. One more. Contact detected. Um, let's have Raven on defensive. Enemy is padlocked. Come on, one hit. Yeah, screw it. It can't do its mission. It looks like it's uh, pretty damaged, so we'll leave that UFO for now. I don't want to send all my uh, fighters up. Mm, or do I? Since one just came back. Ah, oh, come on. Have a second go, Raven. I'm a sucker for shooting down these UFOs. Especially since we need, like, weapon fragments. Alloys are nice as well. Never mind. Lost. We do have an alien abduction, though. Let's see where that is. We're a light one over Russia. So it looks like it's going to be a nice mission for Sefi to train us on rookies. Let's um, leave it to him. Until next time.